Hello everybody, Badger Hacks here. Today I'm going to show you some of the ways that I make some of the bridges in the areas around my, in my map. I like my bridges to be quite low and to achieve that in the game I have to create them in a particular order. So let me start off with Let's say, for example, I have this track fairly high up, like that. Make it nice and long. And then I want a road crossing here as a bridge, or going underneath the track, at least. So if you just try and start lower it like this, it, you get this collision issue. And this is, I mean, this is clearly high enough, but unfortunately the game doesn't quite like it so much. You can make it into a tunnel by going super low down, but then you've got all of this wasted space here as well, which, which isn't great. So really, and this is actually quite a simple thing. The way you do it is you build the upper part first, the bridge. So if I want this, this bridge, this road here, and I want the track to go over it like this, I mean, it can't do that either. But what I need to do is if I get the track close enough, and it's always tricky to do this part. So if I want my road here, I need a segment of track removed. Yeah, something like that. There might be a bit of extra over here. So then if I get rid of this road temporarily and just lower this area, low enough so that it will actually generate bridge. So when I put this here, it's now decided that it wants to be a bridge. So this is the problem with pillar bridges, is it'll generate the pillars to the terrain. And obviously this is temporary terrain, so we can't use the built-in bridges here. What I am using usually for this is JK's girder bridges, because they come without pillars. So any of these types of bridges you can use, not that one, you can use because they don't have pillars unless they're, if it's super, super long, then it will start adding some individual pillars, but they're still nothing like this. So let's go with this one. And then if I just flatten this out again, I don't know what's happening with that. With that texture then. So it'll complain at me like this. If I hold shift, I mean there is still a limit. But if you hold shift then it stops that from happening. And while shift is held you can tick and actually place it. Now that is very low bridge. There is a way to do this with the vanilla bridges too, with their arches, which normally look like this. So if we wanted to put one of those here, we can't do it with the current terrain height because it just wants to put regular terrain there. If we lower the gap where we want our road to be, enough. Then we do get the bridge but we have the pillars too low down and we can't raise this back up. But what you'll notice like this is the other part of the gap it has still generated a lower bridge. So what we can do instead is the part where we want our road we have at the level that we want it to be with the very low bridge. And then just like really lower a bit at the very end and that will trigger it to generate a bridge and the rest of the gap will have lower arches on them. 
So if we create that, then we can slice this part off by creating a junction. And then deleting them. Restoring this terrain. And restoring the track. And now we've got a very low little bridge here. And we can fit a little road under it. We still need to hold shift. And we need to arch it down a little bit, maybe. Or maybe we don't on this one. And there we go. That's a neat little low bridge. Something else I like to do with bridges like this is cover them up. So quite often you have um, little like brickwork things that cover some ends of the bridges. Now the girder bridges mod comes with these two assets which you can use to decorate that to some end. So you've got this uh, this buttress piece here. It's got some nice um, configuration options, or you can manually just place brickwork. And you can do the same with, with the Joe Fried pieces that I showed in the last video. Like if I wanted to make this into a viaduct, I could place some of them on it. Alternatively, there's this other Joe Fried mod, which is actually the like fortification and walls mod. It comes with these two other categories. So there's fortifications, but then it's also got just stonework. So some more little square shapes, long shapes, but then it also has these little slopes. And if you make them slightly bigger and maybe tall and a bit short, then you can either use this size or some other size, depending on what you want to achieve. Add like the, the little buttress things to the edge, which is something that you quite regularly see when there's when there's bridge like this. Not the best example there, but you get the point. If you don't want them to be as thick, you can use the thinner ones and it, it's not ideal, but it's it's probably the, the steepest slope that you can find in the Joe Fried assets. And if you need it to be a bit longer, you can just add another one. So yeah, quite a few options. I also like this mod for this, which is, um, I'll link it in the description, but it's just like a, a collection of bridge heads, dam walls, noise protection walls, fences and things. And all of those are here. So you've got three fairly nice little, little wall pieces here. I quite often use these to cover up girder bridges when the bridge in real life, it has more of a brickwork thing than, than metal. It's also got some other little fence pieces, which are quite nice. This all snaps to the track too. It's got these as well, which if you want a, a super long thing with, with a fence on top, that can fit in some places. That's quite nice too. Although possibly not for a bridge as low as this. You've got these fairly, fairly hefty pieces, which again, you can use on really for anything like that to, to support this, this bridge here, for example. And then you've got a few little fences. I think these, I think this is a vanilla asset or there is a vanilla asset that looks like this, except it's just plain white. So I don't know if this is just a reskin of that or a completely new model, but either way, it's got a few nice things. 
I quite like using this one for garden fences, but you can also use it to decorate bridges. So yep, yeah, there's a few, a few of the mods that help me build low bridges like this and decorate them and cover them up with, with stuff. I hope you found this useful and have fun. Thank you.